Bonjour Madagascar. MBS Radio. A tropical paradise, but not for the majority who live here. Most Malagasy survive on less than a dollar a day, and the poor are getting poorer. In the slums of the capital, Antananarivo, people tell us they are earning less, but paying more for what little food they can get. If there is no work for our children, then I'm very worried. They will turn into thieves and prostitutes. Life is hard here. Mark Ravala Manana swept into power as president six years ago on the promise he would use foreign investment to cut poverty by 50% in five years and open up the country to free market reforms. Madagascar is now open for investment. We look forward to the benefits going to Malagasy people, but it won't happen immediately. We hope that by giving people more legal hold over their land, we will give them the right to use their land for their own benefit. But this is the reality of the government's policies. Over a thousand people have been kicked off their land to make way for industry owned by the president. We had a lot of land, our land for 76 years. It was so big my children could play football on it. We had rice and chickens and now we have nothing but collecting a few bricks to be sold. Mark Revelamanana is a true rags to riches tale. From selling yogurt off the back of a bicycle to presidential convoy. The dairy tycoon who runs Madagascar like his own business. He's not a politician, he's a businessman. And his decisions are made to benefit his own businesses, not the country as a whole. No businessman was prepared to talk to us over what they say is the president's elimination of his competition. This now boarded up wholesaler belonged to three brothers. They were arrested four years ago, thrown into jail without trial. Their crime? Selling cooking oil. One of the many trades monopolized by the president. Ah. Mark Ravala Manana doesn't just control the media, he owns most of it. Opposition politicians say they have no forum to express themselves. The opposition isn't allowed rallies. If a politician is interviewed, they're afraid of speaking out. They're afraid of jail. That's why the opposition does nothing and the people are suffering. He shut down a church that was sapping support from his own. And he plans to move the capital 500 kilometers east to Tomatave, all because he doesn't get on with the mayor. From everything I've read about dictators, we are now living under a dictatorship. With a population growing at 3% a year, one of the fastest in the world, the vast foreign investments into Madagascar's economy need to be filtered down soon or the president will continue getting rich on the back of a country that remains one of the poorest in the world. Jane Dutton, Al Jazeera, Antananarivo.